tune this is southern california sport fishing voice it's let's talk hookup on the let's talk hookup app and the mightier 1090 espn radio when i get back to the dock from a fishing trip i need to get caught up and your san diego county ford dealers have a perfect solution the ford f-150 truck with available interior work surface to put your laptop paperwork and more this is just one of the many useful features ford has built into this amazing truck get behind the wheel of a ford f-150 truck with an available interior work surface visit your san diego county ford dealer to learn more they'll be glad to hook you up in america the future belongs to everyone so we built the vehicles of the future for everyone command the road with built ford tough trucks gear up and head out in a ford suv or check out ford's adventure new lineup like Bronco, Bronco Sport, and Maverick. Order your perfect truck or SUV built for you, by you, or get big cash back, low APR, and exclusive lease offers at your local Ford stores, where the future is for everyone. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat, FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. For quality, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. The quality of the captains and crew, as well as the great meals and service, speak for themselves. Comfortable staterooms, a super clean and well taken care of boat, are just a few of the reasons the Islander is so popular. The Islander specializes in one and a half to five day fishing. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islandersportfishing.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up, one of my most favorite shows. There are no two guys on the planet that can make your fishing reel work better than the two guys in the studio today. It's truly amazing. It is. The work that they yeah. do. Cal? It's just TLC. It's just it, TLC. It is. I mean, really, it's, we just take a lot more time, try to check everything as close as possible. Uh, it's a feel. As much as anything, and he's really got it. Yeah. Did you train him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that true? A few, a few hours of training. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. You kind of grew up with it, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Lifetime oh, yeah. of uh, holding flashlights and handing tools turns into like the actual real wizard <laughs> of all. Much yeah. respect. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of flashlights and and tools, has technology helped you in? Because you've been doing this for how long, Cal? Uh, thirty four years. Thirty four years. And has yeah. technology helped with? Are there new tools and new devices that help you guys do your work? Yes and no, okay. Uh, some of the, we like we just did get our new CNC funny, and we haven't got it running yet. But it will just make it easier to make special gears or special whatever we need it, of a production amount, not ones and twos. Uh-huh. But, uh, so you actually hand make gears? I hand make point, all yes. the gears in-house myself. Wow, and so the CNC will help you? kind of yeah, duplicate yeah. what you did. Well, I used to have CNC's years uh-huh. ago, and then when we uh, closed down our, our shop up in uh, uh, Duarte and moved down to the shop right at my house, I didn't bring them with it because they were just too big. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that part, but still everything's by hand. Yes. And the first two or three or four is by hand because yeah. because I'm experimenting and, and I experiment when I'm machining them. Yeah. So what exactly do you do to a reel? What's kind of the cow cow's custom thing? Strip the reel all the way down. Just we start off the first thing. Actually, you start off by feeling the reel, trying to see if you can find something. And we also ask the customer 
if you have any particular issues with the reel, tell us so we know yeah. what to look for. Because if you don't know what to look for, you're not going to find it unless mm -hmm. you get lucky. Yeah. And But we'll strip it all the way down, do our complete lube cleaning of, of all the drags and all that. We do, uh, don't have to replace carbon fiber drags very often. The carbon fiber drags will last a long, long time. What a difference in reels you guys have seen. I mean, from oh. from the old days of single speed internationals and newels that you know that went out multiple times yeah. during a trip yeah. to now, like, how often do you change the drag? It, Pete's got his favorite reel out here on the table, Italica yeah. Ten. Like, how often do you change the drags in Italica? I have not. I think I've had to replace one Italica drag <laughs> in the last ten years that we've been working on them. Yeah. Granted, we do take them. Uh, sure. Part and we we have a biodegradable degreaser, which we use and degrease the drags very very well. The reason being, carbon fiber when it's being used will break off a little little pieces of it. If you don't take that and get that all out of there, and you just regrease a drag and put it back in without doing that, you've got all these carbon fibers, and now instead of having a good drag, you've got a nice lapping compound inside. Yeah. So getting rid of all those little mm -hmm. pieces, the carbon fibers will last for years. Wow. So I, I like Ricky says, I hand you my Talica ten. There's there's some uh, issue in there. Right. And so you basically will take it apart and find out what you issue. It's probably a bearing or something yeah. like that, right? That's probably a bearing. Yeah. Yeah. And but that thing has caught so many fish. It's yeah. like it's all it's it's, well, it's honestly it's, it's still working quite it's well. Still, it works <laughs> just fine, but, but it's not working. Cow. It's not cow. <laughs> yeah. You know, you that's the problem, uh -huh. Eric and Cal, is you've totally spoiled me Dude. with working on my reels. It's like I have it's okay, this Oh, Cal did this one, yeah. Expectations. Yeah. Are yeah. Yeah. You, you're absolutely right, and that's yeah. the truth because you're you are just like I am. I'm a Talica guy, and and everybody knows, you know. Let's talk hookup is closely associated with Shimano. When I walk out the doors and I'm at the tackle store, there's no affiliation there, but Talicas are the reels that I own because the, I think they are the best. I mean, that is yeah. my favorite reel, and it's all I have. And I think they're the best because out of the box they were perfect yep. until. You have Cal and Eric work on one, and yes. like you have this perfect reel, the pinnacle of a two-speed reel, in my right. opinion, the best free spool, great torque, all these things. How could that get better? It can't. Like they can make they any can. reel better, no matter what it is out of the box. How perfect it is, and I think Italica is the best. I think it's the most perfect reel out of the box there is. You they know, they can just make it better. We'll we'll get guys that come in, and literally we had it yesterday. A guy come in. Well, I got a bunch of reels and this and that, and my dad would tell him, you know what, just. Just do like one or two. He goes, one or two, you'll feel the difference. Yeah. And, and my dad will be like, and then I got you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then I got you. You're going to feel the difference. It's and you're going to so be like, good. well, wait a minute. I want my other six reels or eight reels or whatever it is to work like these two. And, yeah. And uh, it, 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 it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, here's an example. Tal take a Talica 20. Now, mm -hmm. probably the... Uh, the undisputed champion and in, in doing like the knife jig flat sure. falling and stuff like that. Yeah. Great reel. <laughs> That's and, what we use. <laughs> I mean, and one of the keys is getting down there fast, right? Right. Those you, you let Cal and Eric work on it, man. That it goes fast. Less friction when the yeah. line's coming off the reel. But you have have to have an educated thumb still. Yes. Oh, you yeah. don't just let it go. <laughs> no, you don't. No. So I have a question on my. Talica 20 that you work on, there's like when I reel on it now, there's like, and you asked me about it, like a clicking sound on yes. it. Explain that, what you do there. And it, I like it. I, I Same. think it's one of my favorite yeah. modifications Cal's does. What it is, is we've added anti reverse dog springs. Uh -huh. The anti reverse dogs on those reels and all reels that work like that can sometimes not return back to lock position all at the same time there's three dogs so and they work by friction so therefore the friction may be a little less on one dog than the than another dog mm -hmm. so they don't quite come in which occasionally can shear a dog or eat uh, take a corner off of it which makes it so it's not working really well and over years you may then end up only having one dog working if you don't take care of your reel and don't get it serviced. So by putting those anti-reverse dog springs in, it pops all three dogs into place every time so that 
they you have a real good positive stop. You'll notice your handle hardly ever moves much backwards. No. And for the dogs to come in under standard conditions, the handle must move backwards a little bit to create the friction to pull them in. Aha. Uh -huh. So now we've got the springs kicking them into place. So when that handle just barely moves back a teeny bit, they're locked already. And yep. the advantage of that is? The handle won't go backwards, yeah. uh, <laughs> which is big. It yeah. has happened occasionally, not a lot. It doesn't happen very often, but especially if somebody doesn't take care of their reel for a while, it can happen. That's and it. It's, I was going to say, and it's been hard work to try to get those to be as quiet as possible mm -hmm. yeah. because you really, I mean, there, there's only been a handful of customers that we've done work for on those that they said, nah, that's just not for me. I want it to be perfectly quiet. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, just about everybody else said, "Well, if it if it possibly makes it any better, I, I oh, want to do yeah, that." Yeah, why not? That's and, my can. And, so, really and so my my biggest thing was to fight to make it as quiet as possible. So you kind of have the best of both worlds, and it it it, it really has been a fight to try to get it to do that. And uh, it's I, I think it's worked out really. The thing well. is, yeah. it's only loud when you're inside your garage. Yes, where nobody's yes. talking. Like you, you step on the deck of a boat and hear a generator yeah. humming and your buddy talking yeah. and this guy screaming and Spectre's ripping off this guy's reel. It doesn't make any noise. No. Then. You know no. what I mean? Like you don't hear it. Not no. very low. It's just yeah. when you're yeah. trying to you know when you're trying to pick things apart, you'll find things. And and right. when the, you're in your the, garage, quiet and and tick, 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 and, tick, tick, and like like the, Cal said, it's it wasn't happening very often that 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 handle would go backwards. But if you can eliminate. That just little tiny little that percentage, what if. yeah. Sure. That what if, uh, yeah. you know, the guy that's going. It, you don't want here. that. Yeah. No, it's. I've had I've had a real, and it wasn't a, one of those. It was a real years ago, a duel, which is crank handle one direction, mm -hmm. and for high gear the other direction for low gear, and it has a, a locking mechanism in there, and uh, I had it was sent to me to test. And I loaned it to a gentleman, and luckily he didn't get hurt, but he hooked a big tuna, and that handle flew backwards. And luckily a crew member was right there and stopped him from reaching over to take the handle, and they, they got it stopped. Ended up being 220 well, yellow. Using an anti-reverse bearing as well. Yeah, and there, the anti-reverse so bearing had gone out. out. It'd be a true knuckle buster. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever tried one of those reels? I love them. Knuckle buster? I, no, no the those duels. duels. Oh, so duel? this oh. year, uh, yeah. all of our reels were... They needed leaders and all kinds of stuff. When I was in PEI, when we were fishing, and it was my turn to catch one, and they were like, "You want to try this?" I said, "Sure, I'm I'm game." Oh my gosh, it was it's it like really a, was amazing. It's like a sailboat. It, winch. We had worked oh, on forward for high yeah. forward yeah. for yeah, high it was like three to one for low gear. Yeah, it was like three to one away from you and one to one towards yeah. you. And we had already gone through the reel several years before oh, for yeah, it. So. It was <laughs> uh, it. Once you got like three minutes into it, you got used to the concept and everything else like that. I actually kind of loved yeah, it. it was, I dig it, was, it too. Like it was really, pretty cool. It allowed you you stay in high gear more often because like the ratchet style. You know what yeah, I mean? You like right? you almost yeah. go forward and then you'll ratchet back a couple inches and gain a little bit. And, <laughs> and now you're gaining. All you got to do is and you were fooling with shifting. Whether yeah. it's any kind of reel, yeah. right? You're, 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 Interesting. You're, yeah. I yeah. mean, are they, I, are they still on the market? I, I, I don't They're, know. I don't they know. are, but not not much here on the west coast a yeah. little bit on the east coast uh they they're very difficult to get parts for yeah i had to get some stuff for them i had to have it come in from italy the ones that i remember <laughs> too way back in the day long range wise was they had very poor free spool you know I mean, they, yes. were, they, oh, they yes. still do they yeah. very they much, still do very much were not designed to fly line live bait you right. know you put your trolling lure back there and who cares about free spool? Yeah. like some of those reels like that was a, a complaint of people like these things free spool too good they they backlash when we're putting our lures out like you know, a, a trolling reel only. The only reason you put it in free spool is so the lure goes backwards Back. behind the boat, and they want it to be poor free spool so that it you know goes out nice and slow yeah. and doesn't yeah. overrun while you're trying to set your jigs. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So what else do you do? I mean, like somebody. Okay, let's see. Somebody hands you a, a Talica. Somebody hands you a Pen Fathom. So yeah. Sure. What kind of stuff do you? I mean, and and and, the, and it's a brand new reel. I mean, do you do? Th do you say no, 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 just fish it. But we, no, we get. We've had calls for almost four months on uh, what are you going to do? What do you do on the new fathoms? And our answer is we don't know. We haven't yeah. even seen them yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you, it's one of those things that we try to do what customers' feedback gives us to do. Now we do have some things that we like to do, and yes, we did get the new fathoms in, and we have we have modified them some already. Uh, 
to get a little bit better range on the slider and stuff like that because they're they're just like most manufacturers reels they're not made to quite fish as heavy as we like to fish them here on the, on the west coast right with, with the so much because we use so much braid most uh -huh. most back east they yeah they're starting to use braid but it's but it's a half a spool a half the time you never see yeah. the braid yeah it's like, like oh, it was when we started they yeah. were like yeah, yeah put braid on my reel but i don't ever want to see it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. You that's know, basically right. what they'll tell us sometimes but uh, we've we've played with those new fathoms. In fact, Eric uh, tested a sixty that we had played with already. Yeah. Uh, we're going to probably have quite a few different variations on gear ratios for a lot of them, type of thing. Uh, we're looking at maybe uh, little modifications on the handles. What? We're working with Tiburon on that. What's the scenario at which somebody wants to change their gear ratio on a fathom? Like, what what is the reason that that is? Something that's so popular for you guys. Some people, okay, uh, like take the new Fathom 40. It's it's a 6 to 1 high speed gear, which is a great gear for our jig dropping and stuff like that. But if you're just fishing bait, I think it's a little bit high, you know, in my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. There are other guys that say, absolutely not. We like it just like it is. Sure. Or put a little longer handle on it, it'll be fine. So I. We ha we're looking at maybe using, we, luckily the gears from the older reels are interchangeable, mm -hmm. and I do have some of the stuff in stock. But why is it too high? Like, what does that mean? Like, meaning well, because it's you so get high, a very, you, you don't get have a, as much power when you're yeah, pulling on oh, a fish in a high gear? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. because you're trying to get so much, so many inches of line. It's 50 inches of line per turn of the handle on a Fathom 40, which is a lot of line per turn That's of the handle. That's a lot. On yeah, a big fish. A, a talic, uh, on a small fish. On a small fish. <laughs> I mean, take, a tal take your Talica 20. Yeah. It's 10% higher gear ratio yet. Wow. And it's a bigger, well, the spool, I think, is about this, maybe even a little bigger. So it. Uh, so you'll lower the... Bring it back down to where most of the people have, you don't have to pump a five-pound fish to bring mm -hmm. it in. You have yeah. a lot more power. Right. A lot more power because yeah. it's just yeah, But like you leave ready. the low at the same spot. You can leave the low at the same spot. They they have done something that uh, we did on the older Fathoms, the F Series 1. We made a lower low gear of a 1.8 to 1 low gear. Uh -huh. They brought out a 1.9. They rounded up, we rounded down. Same basic gearing. Yeah. But you can, you know, with, with gear changes like that, you can take the exact same reel and make it physically easier on the angler to turn the handle under a load under a load yes and or same thing but you could also we can also take the fathom uh six to one gears and put it into an older fathom 40 that a guy wants a high speed sure. gear you for want chase. a wahoo reel or something you yeah, want a rock wahoo more reel. Of a specialty so yeah, we we sure. can we're going to be able to play some games with gears and stuff like that and you'll advise people too right. it's like hey what can you do to help me yeah. improve if they, this reel if they the come in and say thing, hey yeah. i i'm just having a hard time fighting any kind of fish in high gear i got to go to low gear yeah. all the time and i really shouldn't you know like a wahoo you should yeah. never you basically should never go to low gear on a wahoo yeah. type of thing do you do basic reel maintenance of Somebody just sure, says, yeah, "Hey, right. yeah, uh, good question. I, I, you know, I I want to just have my real service. Do you yeah, do that? Do. Yeah, yeah, the first absolutely. time through, we we trick it out like what Cal was calling yeah. the blueprinting. We'll do yeah. that the first time. We're we're machining cams, stainless plates, everything like that, going through through a whole reel. Then we tell guys that you know, as needed. You know, some guys fish every month, some guys fish once a year. As needed, we can do the service, or your yeah. local tackle shop, as long as they know what they're doing, can can do that service for you. So, yeah, but yeah." But yeah, the first time through, too. we have to have a base point to start from as far as knowing that everything is uh, is, is up to speed for us. And do you work on everything? Uh, you mean as far as every, all different every, reels? All different yeah, reels. Yeah, uh, no, I mean our, our, our servicing and blueprinting and everything mm -hmm. is based on lever drag reels. Lever drag um, yeah, So, I mean, that's it, it's most lever drag reels. It's not all. If, you know, if, if somebody was interested, they could either check our website, which is okay. cals2speed.com, or they can give us Cal's a call. Cals2speed with a number two. With a yeah. number two, yeah. And they could, or give us a call, and they could uh, uh, kind of go over what reels they have where they want to fish what kind of boats they're going on private boaters long range boats whatever it is and just kind of get uh, again a good base point to start from yeah so we could know uh, advice from there and but, uh, they can either drop them off at your shop in fallbrook or they can drop it off at one of your drop points like fisherman's landing tackle yeah, or one of the other yeah, uh, tackle stores yeah. throughout southern yeah. california yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, we do it all the time. We love them. Well, we, yeah. And then uh, you guys ship it to them. We do all the time. I mean, yeah, we yeah. ship it or we're down here and pick them up either yeah, way. Yeah. So, But, yeah, we uh, uh, try to try to go about it that way. You want to talk about tricking one out? We shipped a brand new reel to these guys that we're, we're getting back from them today. Uh customer needed a very heavy duty two speed reel but has to be left hand uh gear they don't make that's just not a thing like you can't yeah. get you can't get lefties in high end heavy duty two speed reels well so Calinair just made it that, that way yep. yeah he's turned it into a left hand yep wow right yeah we took the new vi series yeah, reel brand new international we have done used. probably a dozen of them now wow. we've done it all the way from the 12 through the 50 we can do a 70 but we have never had it so you have to basically make new parts to be no able to some of them inside. some yes but most of it we have to uh, like on the vi series we actually have to remachine part of it inside wow part of the side plate has to be all remachined and uh so that we can make it so it's in a left-handed pretty amazing well as Crazy. you can hear we have the masters no here doubt, you want to know about tricking out your reel you want to know about how your reel's performing could it be better here you go yeah you want to talk about fishing these guys are long range oh, yeah. all the time it's going to be a great show so much fun information and if you want to join us give us a call this morning it's always the best way to participate in let's talk hook up is to give us a call at 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 is the number here to reach us on let's talk hook up or you can text the show. Tons of texts already coming through. If you want to send us a text, you got questions for Eric, you got questions for Cal, the only way you can text us is through the Let's Talk Hookup app. That's a free download, easy to get, whether you're on an Android, an iPhone, whatever you got. Just search Let's Talk Hookup wherever you uh, download your apps. It's totally free. You can listen to uh, downloads from the previous shows. All the archives are on there. Great information. And you'll see the only way to text into the show is through that Let's Talk Hookup app. And make sure that you include your contact info when you do send us a text because if you win this today's prize which you're going to very much want we need to be able to get a hold of you so we can send it back out to you and what a prize we're giving away at the end of the show so when the show's over we're going to take all of our potential winners from the phone calls pick one all our potential texts that make it on the air we'll pick one of those then cal's going to flip a coin and that's going to designate whether the winner comes from the caller side or the texter side and we are giving away a hundred dollar gift certificate to cal so you're going to get an opportunity whether it be service whether it be blueprint whatever you want you got a hundred bucks coming to trick your reel out from the absolute masters and let me tell you that is a really cool prize oh, yeah. there's no going back for oh, sure yeah. again if you want to join us 213-432-1090 and we come back we're going to be taking those phone calls lots of great info coming your way you stay tuned you're listening to southern california sport fishing voice this is let's talk hook up on the let's talk hook up app and the mightier 1090 espn radio Dana Landing in Mission Bay is the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. This is Mia. Come see me and our expert staff for everything you need for your next fishing trip, food, bait, tackle, beverages, and more. Our tackle shop is certainly one of San Diego's finest. We have you covered from bay bass to big tuna and people that can help you get set up right. We also have Dougie, one of the best reel repair guys around. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the best rods and reels, the hottest freshwater lures, and live bait. ECBT has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. We now also have Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, both fresh and saltwater tackle right in the heart of Lemon Grove. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle take 94 to Broadway and Lemon Grove. And Dana Landing is right next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check danalanding.com for more details. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel. 
travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. The state-of-the-art, long-range sport fishing vessel, the Independence, delivers the top quality, comfort, and fishability you look for in a long-range boat. Veteran captains Mark Pisano and Paul Strasser built this incredible 112-foot vessel with the most modern technology and luxurious comfort available. Once you go on the Independence, you'll be back. Call Independence Sports Fishing at 619-226-6006 or check independencesportfishing.com. For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day trips on the Daily Double and full-day trips on the Mission Bell every day. Perfect for novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips on the American Angler, Vagabond, Intrepid, Independence, New Loan, T-Bird, Game Changer, and more. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. Hey anglers, AFCO Pro Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters here. As a full-time guide, I'm on the water all year long. It's my livelihood. Having the right clothing is of the utmost importance to staying warm, dry, cool and comfortable to endure whatever the Pacific wants to throw at me. Thankfully, I'm equipped with AFCO clothing to keep me dialed season after season. Do yourself a favor and check out AFCO's award-winning gear at a dealer near you or learn more at AFCO.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. We're having a great time here this morning. Phones are packed up. Everybody's excited to talk to Cal. Talk to Eric from Cal's Reels. Again, 213-432-1090. That's how you reach us if you want to be on Let's Talk Hookup this morning. Here's a, a guy that you've shared the rail with a few times. Yeah. Captain Frank Lopresti from the Royal Polaris. Good morning, Frank. Hi, Frank. Good morning, Frank. Well, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Good morning, Eric. I was going to say, yeah, Frank and Cal and Eric, you guys have got a few hours uh, out on the water oh, together. RP, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. How are you, Cal? I'm doing very well, Frank. Good. I hear you've been very busy. Anyhow. Oh, we're uh, swamped again. <laughs> Rick, could, yeah, Rick, I wanted to make, make sure that you kept Pete off the water because this bluefin is biting so well that we don't need him going out there and shutting the bite off. You would, yeah. you understood. Well, well yeah, I, 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 I have to part. go to I have to go to Detroit on Tuesday, oh. so that's pretty much a good Oh, to, yeah. thank God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the, so we're, we're good, Frank. We're good. So, uh, so all our anglers are well aware of the fact that they will continue to keep biting. It's awfully, awfully good fishing. I think you know that LER had limits of bluefin last night, 60 to 80 pounds with a few over 100. And uh, that was all last night. And he had uh, another 50 uh, before, or another day of limits before that. So he's doing very, very well. And the other boats out there all got a piece of the action. So it's awfully good bluefin fishing on that 60 to 100 pound fish. Oh, uh, I wanted cool. to. Perfect size. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah. That's, oh, that's awesome. And, 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 and is it related to the great weather we're having right now? I mean, we had those storms come through, kind of jumbled things up, and then things change. And then as soon as that weather straightened out, that, that fishing seems to have picked up. Is that helping? You know, I'll never understand it, but weather, yes, always makes a difference. The funny part about it is sometimes when the weather is rough, they still bite. Yeah. And then when they don't bite, when the weather's rough, we blame it on the weather. So well, yeah. I'm, I'm, not sure how all, I'm not sure how all that works. But anyhow, um, I wanted to also mention that the Polaris Supreme has two three-day trips in December mm. that there are plenty of openings on. Wow. Uh, so somebody might want to catch themselves Christmas bluefin tuna. Uh, all they got to do is call Lindsay. And uh, I think... Uh, on the uh, Let's Talk Hookup eight-day trip on the Royal Polaris, it was full, and now we had four cancellations just in the last week. So somebody has the opportunity to jump on that eight-day trip to fish with Roy Rose. 
Yeah, on December the 6th. When, and our charter master is going to be Wayne Cotto from CCA California, our head of uh, CCA California. So he's going to be our charter master for that trip. And we're going to have a gr- bunch of great prizes from Gamakatsu and AFCO and Shimano and stuff like that. And that, so that's the 6th. Uh, and that, what perfect timing. I mean, is, it, is that going to be going down to the ridge? You're going to be going bluefin fishing? What, what, what do you think? Well, you know, at that time, though, as you well know, Pete, we'll probably make the decision or Roy will make that decision on the day of the departure. And it'll depend on how things have changed. You know, yesterday, Ray on the uh, American Angler had a good sign of Wahoo at, at Aleos Rocks and uh, caught some Wahoo. And there's tuna there, so it could be, I, I can see very possibly that it would go to a Laos first and then into the ridge to fish for yellowtail grouper and, and yellowfin tuna. And by the way, that yellowfin tuna on the ridge, a lot of it now is 25 to 35 pounds. Sweet. Nice. So uh, that possibility exists. If he does that, then there's no way he'll fish bluefin. But it's possible that he could go to the ridge first and then come back up and fish bluefin or start. It's just hard to say. It all depends how the bluefin are biting and what the weather is doing. Sure. And and this time of the year, as we head into it, December, this is when we get our best weather. Now, you, Eric, just came off of a seven-day on the Polaris Supreme. How was it? Absolutely. Lots of yellowtail. Like Frank said, the uh, the tuna are getting bigger down there. Or they're able to find them. Uh, we had every passenger on board had Wahoo. Uh, so it was it was a good That's time. Cool. And great weather. Yes, great weather. And then in and what did you think about uh, that Polaris Supreme and the whole opera? Twenty four people on that boat. With yeah, Ali we had uh, the trip I was on was a twenty person trip. Twenty, and uh, uh, it was it was great. I mean, I'll be back out in two weeks on the 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 Holman Charter on the Polaris Supreme, and there's still a spot on that. So, uh, you know, there's a couple little openings here and there if guys are wanting to go on different trips right now. There's a few of them if you look around. Does and, anybody, when you're on a trip, does anybody ask you to fix the reel? I might have worked on a reel or two on that trip. I, <laughs> I could imagine. Think about I, got, I got to say, you know, f- going on a trip with Eric is quite the pleasure. He is a pleasure to to fish with on the boat, and he's just a he's a just a great advocate for our industry. Okay, no, no question. I'm, I'm thinking about the old days of being at Clarion on the Royal Polaris when reels did burn up all the time. You know, it's not like having a Talica these days. Like, think about being on a 16 day trip back in the day when it was common for your reel to burn up multiple times of the trip, and then having Cal. Like, I can't imagine the mountain oh, yeah. of reels that guys would probably hand you. Oh yeah, it was you know, at nighttime on a galley table. Like, hey man, can I you take a look at this for me. I serviced 25 reels on one trip that got dumped overboard. <laughs> oh, back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. It was probably the best big fish trip I've ever been on. We had eight over three and th- uh, 33 over two. Oh, wow. And was Frank on that trip? No, no, actually, Frank wasn't on that trip. Wow. Was, Maybe uh, Loomis. Loomis yeah. and uh, Rollo. We had Loomis, Rollo, Brian, and Tim. Wow. I mean, and the yeah, only what, thing. Whatever happened. The to all those only guys. thing is, is we didn't have. <laughs> Very good anglers on board. <laughs> Stoss, Pete Haynes, the whole group. It was the best Her, anglers I have ever seen. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I was just in awe. It was the first time I ever fished the Royal, and I was scared to death to be on the boat. And I've never fished with such gentlemen in my life. That's, That's so, so cool. cool. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. So, Frank, so uh, if somebody wants to fish aboard the RP with uh, the legendary, soon-to-be legendary Roy Rose, who's pretty amazing, on that eight-day trip uh, on, on the 6th. How do we get a hold of you? How do we uh, book that trip? Yeah, cool Christmas gift. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, you, of course, you can book it online, or you can call 619-226-8030. Monday through Friday, we're open from 8 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. You can book it then also. All I'll right. And pr- Frank, I promise next two weeks I've got a couple back-to-back trips. I'll be off the water here in Southern California. So <laughs> be, assured, I, I, I be assured it's going to be good. <laughs> I think that's just good good for our anglers to know. And you you should do that on a regular basis so they all know when to go fishing. Team player. <laughs> team player. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Frank. <laughs> all right. I appreciate all that. Right, Thank thanks, you. Frank. And uh, to good guys. to hear from you. See appreciate you, you joining us. Take care. You guys have a great show. <laughs> See you, too. 
when phone lines are absolutely packed solid. Again, if you want to get your opportunity, that's 213-432-1090. You ready to jump in the phones? Yeah, let's, let's do it. You got it, man. We're going to start off this morning with John. He's calling us from Escondido. Hi, John. Thanks for getting started here on Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. It uh, you kind of stole my thunder as far as the question because uh, I always I fish for Cal and Eric, and uh, they've worked on my stuff. And they've always done a great job. But uh, I saw that eight day, and I got a buddy that's going to go on that eight day, and I've never fished on a long range trip at this time of the year, so I didn't know what to uh, to gear up for. And uh, uh, so you guys just kind of uh, answer that question for me, and uh, you know, but. Uh, great show as always to uh to listen to well ha- saying that though being that you just came off a seven day what was a what were a couple of the must-have pieces of gear that you would make sure you know what i mean like whether it be wahoo or that school size tuna fishing like what 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 became your bread and butter outfit on on your most recent seven day trip there um you know it, it was such a wide variety of 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 reels that you would use so you would want to have if i'm not saying anything specific, but you would want to have, let's say, if you were looking for Wahoo, a reel that has a higher gear ratio so you can be able to retrieve and do that. Um, and what's your favorite Wahoo casting reel right now? You know, I've been using a Fathom 25 that we put our higher set of gears into it. So it's a smaller reel. You don't necessarily need a two-speed, but it comes as a two-speed. So if you happen to get on a decent-sized tuner or something, mm-hmm. that you can be able to go to that. Uh, use Talicas in that situation for sure, absolutely. Um, Do you want more of a star drag reel, like a Trinidad or something like that? Is you know, that, that I've, helpful? Kind, I've kind of over... Yes, there was a bunch of those uh, reels out there. Um, I've kind of gone away from that because we're, we've been able to get the lever drags to spin so well really? yeah to spin so well and i really love knowing exactly what drag i have i'm it's it's you know kind of my pet peeve thing i just really love knowing exactly at what each point what i have on drag pressure so that's why i've, I've gone that route and gotcha. like this trip i didn't have any any star drag reels with me wow so um it was it, it, it's it's been kind of a little bit of a change for us over the years but i've slowly gone to that but there are so many reels i sure. mean you could you know we run into people that are complete fans of each individual manufacturer sure. and each one of those has let's say a half a dozen reels that oh my gosh it's like they're they're the best of the best yeah i gotcha yeah, and, and John, thanks a lot for the call. I have a follow-up on that from a, a texter. Uh, Tom in Hesperia says, Cal, going on a five-day independence on 1226, look to, looking to set up a Wahoo rig, I have Phantom 60, 40, 25, or a Makaira 16. Which reel would you recommend, and how should I set up that reel? G- uh, Fathom uh, 40? 60, 40, 25, oh, the, and then the a Makaira Fathom 16. For, the, the Fathom 40. Either That's either cool. with the uh, stock older forty with a five to one or the new six to one, works very well for Wahoo. Works uh-huh. very well. Cat, they cast quite well. If stock they cast quite well. We'll make them cast better. You'll make it cast better. Better, but it, they cast quite well, and they do have a pretty good high retrieve ratio, and they've been holding up very very well for. A, I'm going to say a less expensive reel, which I. We own almost. We own every fathom, at least two of every one of them. Yeah. So you said it. You said it right off the bat. Out of the box, great reel. Now let's take out of the box, out of the question. Totally tricked out. What are you doing to that reel to make it killer for Wahoo? Like on a forty, quite often they out of the box they'll get fifteen, sixteen pounds of drag with decent free spool. We will guarantee that you will get very good free spool with 20 pounds of drag. Wow. And the one, the way we actually test free spool is after we've checked the reel, make sure if I say 20, generally I'm making sure I get 22, 23, just as a safety. Then I'll, I'll tape the line down and I'll actually spin the spool and turn the side plate down and then turn it over and turn the handle down. If it still spins really good both ways, I know it's got good free spool. Because most guys, you don't cast where the spool stays level. You're casting where you're going over. So you're actually starting with the handle down and finishing with the side plate down a lot. That's how most guys fish. Not everybody. And so, therefore, that gives you that little extra distance. If you're 
if you lay it on its side and the spool slows down, it's going to slow down slow when you cast down, it. Yeah. Handle stay the same? On the handle side? No, I mean, like, on your, in your tricked out, uh, Cal's uh, perfect Wahoo. Uh, really. We right now know, on a, especially a Wahoo, a high speed, we use a Tiburon arm. Tiburon does a very nice job of making different handles and everything else. But what we'll do is we'll take like a the Tiburon arm for that. And then we'll match whatever knob the customer Customer's likes. Favorite knob where they can put he that may thing. want a, a Baja knob. He may want uh, the uh, VI knob, the 16 VI knob. Uh, he may want the Akuma medium size knob. And we can put, or he may want just the stock smaller knob that comes with the Tiburon arm. And we can match all those out to what the customer likes. Yeah, and that's the thing, too, is that it doesn't matter what reel, like on my Metallica 20, 25, you put a, a new arm on it. I really like that. It's I mean, just, a, it's not, just a, about a half inch longer. Yeah. gives you just about another more, 10% more power. A lot more grip, especially from our arthritis, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we changed the knob, too, didn't yeah. we, to and, a little bigger knob. And that yeah. knob is cool because there's, com, you know, commercially there's aftermarket ones that are available, but the Cal's... It's kind of in between all those uh-huh. ones. Like you can buy one prepackaged that's great in an aftermarket, but it, it's a little bit skinnier. And then they make a bigger one, but it's a little too big. And the one that's on your reel is, it's the middle bear, man. It's right. just right. Yeah. You know? exactly. Exactly. I mean, all the reel manufacturers make different knobs, and we, you know, we have people who like a certain knob on their reel, whether it's a the the, the large Shimano knob. We can actually have modified those so we can put it on a whatever model reel yes pretty slick hey with that said we're going to find out what's biting out there it's time for our baja catch report for the man the cast man richard castinated from cast tours hey it's not just hooks that make anglers wild about gamakatsu the finest split rings and solid rings are also available from gamakatsu and if you're looking for quality swivels gamakatsu makes the best when it comes to assist hooks gamakatsu's got you covered there too with a wide assortment of sizes and styles see your local dealer or check gamakatsu.com we're going to find out what's going on with the cast man richard Castaneda, buenos dias, Cass. Buenos dias, Ricky, Pedro, and Cal. Cass, man. Back from the swamps. Hey, back, back, hey, back from Venice, man. Venice, Louisiana, fishing redfish down there. Um, fish three days. Uh, first day, the wind was uh, kind of blowing a little bit too hard, so we had to fish uh, inside between the reeds down there, but uh, managed to get uh, limits of uh, slot reds. The uh, slot limit down there is 17 to 27 inches. Anything over 27, you got to release, and those are usually the bulls. But uh, second day, the wind died down. We were able to get to the bull area, and I'll tell you, it was probably the best bull red fishing that we've had. Uh, most of the fish, 35, 36, up to 44 inches. Uh, plus, we got a long speckled trout, uh, and also the uh, black drums. Got some big black drums, uh, probably going 30, 35 pounds. Uh, and those you got to release because I understand they're just full of worms. But uh, you know, everybody came back with fish, had a great time down there, and uh, looking forward to next year. Uh, but t- talking about the Baja, you know, those north winds have started, and things are starting to shut down from Moreto all the way down to La Paz. Uh, but San Jose del Cabo is still fishing strong. You know, they you normally can get out early to the uh, the banks at Vinorama and uh, the Ima and the San Luis banks and the inner gordo and the outer gordo banks. Um, and usually that wind will start blowing about noontime, tw- about, say about 11 and then you just start heading back in. But the wahoo fishing remains fabulous down there. I mean, it's just incredible, the amount of wahoo. And you know how we did uh, on our wahoo rumble. We had probably the best wahoo rumble we've ever had as far as targeting wahoo. Uh, there's also some big tuna. There was a 240-pounder caught out the Intergordo Bank. Uh, lots of Dorado still, which is amazing, this far into November. And uh, and good quality Dorado, too. There's some nice fish up to 25, 30 pounds. And... Uh, a lot of those that are between that 8 to 12 pound uh, size fish. So some fabulous fishing uh, going on. And, uh, boy, I'm telling you, I just uh, just love to be down there myself right now and get into some of that warm sunshine down there and, and enjoy some of that good fishing. But that's a report for this week, uh, Pete. And I'll talk to you boys uh, next Saturday. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. And anybody wants to book a trip into Southern Baja, mainland Mexico, Central America, Brazil for the Peacocks, Colombia for the Peacocks, give us a call at Cast Tours at 800-593-6510. And also I'd like to wish our, our good friend, uh, Dr. Gary Furness, 
A happy birthday, Pete. Oh, oh, Dr. Gary, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Doc. All right. Thanks, Cass. Appreciate that very much, and we'll talk to you next Saturday. You got it, man. Talk to you then. See you, right. Cass. Hey, that's going to wrap up our Baja Report. Want to remind you, focus your offshore fishing in the best areas by using Terrafin charts. Temperature, chlorophyll, and more. Terrafin is the professional's choice for dependability and for accuracy. And now with Terrafin Mobile, you can download the latest charts to your iPad, your iPhone, or your Android device. Check Terrafin.com for more information. And speaking of Baja, that's the beauty of Terrafin. No matter where you're at, San yep. Diego to Cabo, it is dead accurate all the time. Unbelievable. Love Terrafin. Wouldn't ever go fishing without it. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including more of your phone calls and texts. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN. ESPN Radio. Hayden Lane here from Fast Lane Kayaking, and I got to tell you about all the rad new stuff we have in the shop, like the fully updated new line of Hobie inflatable kayaks, the iTrek series. Hobie took the best-selling i11s and made it even better, then added new models like it, like the new iTrek 9 that weighs just 37 pounds, fully rigged, packs into a small bag with wheels, and fits just about anywhere. And on the water, this thing performs featuring a super wide and flat hull shape that is stable and an elevated beach chair style seat that is comfortable. Or the all new Hobie Mirage Lynx. Inspired by the shape of the inflatable kayaks, Hobie made a durable and ultralight hard top model. It's the missing link. It looks like a hybrid of a stand-up paddleboard and a kayak. And the best part, at just 45 pounds, the hull weighs about half as much as similar sized kayaks. And it's stackable. Pile them up on your roof rack or your truck bed. You gotta see this thing, stop by the shop, right on the water in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay. Or check us out online at fastlanekayaking.com. Hey, it's time to talk about great equipment from Shimano. And, you know, i got my Talica 10 sitting here. I mean, let's talk about Talica 10. Oh, man. What, what a versatile reel that is for fish from... 10 pounds, 5 pounds, up to, I've cut 60, 70 pound bluefin on the, that thing. The really. series of Talica really does cover yeah. it. From the, the little 8 that you might use for school size tuna and kelp patty fish, all the way up to the Talica 50 for yeah. kite, kiting for big bluefins and, you know, and even, you know, drop back reels. I know the highest end guys, uh, Bad Company and people like that, they all send those big Talica 50s into Cal because they can handle the, the rigors of giant game fishing. Right. It, 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 it's just amazing how powerful that reel is and how lightweight and versatile it is. You pick that up, you put it on a lightweight, great rod. It is just a machine and for you, catching fish. You were talking earlier about star drag to lever drag. That's such a difference that's happened when reels like Talica came out. Is You always picked a star drag for casting and a lever drag for drag and fish fighting. And Boy, with a Talica, you can put that thing into free spool and it feels like you're casting a star drag reel. Yeah, and you put... Uh, Max Quattro 65 on there. You can put a lot of line on there. Over 400 yards on that little reel. 400 yards. Hey, check it out. The Talica series at your local Shimano dealer. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hard-working crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the long-range vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long-range fishing experience. Spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or fly-down, fly-back, 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long-range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning talking fishing, phone calls, text, and more. It's always fun having the boys from Cal's in here. Yeah. So much good info. Oh, for sure. So much going on. Well, let's go ahead and jump back on those jam packed phones. That sounds good to me. Next up, we're going to talk to Mike. He's calling us from Rosemead this morning. Good morning, Mike. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. 
Hey, good morning. Thanks for picking up my line. You know, I don't do this with my newer modern reels, but the older uh, squitters and jig masters and the newels, I'll take them apart and service them, but what I like to do is uh, get my little Dremel-type tool and uh, put the buffing wheel on it and polish out the stainless steel or brass washers. Um, to I get them to a mirror finish on both sides, so um, am I doing any good doing that, or am I just wasting my time? You mean on the on the drag washers in it? Are they first thing? Are they stainless washers, or are they brass washers that have been plated? Because if they're brass washers and been plated, then you, you're going to take the plating off. But um, polishing them may help like some, but brass washers. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm sorry. If, oh, if you do so, the stainless uh, yeah, washers, you, you've got to get them good and flat. The hard part with a Dremel tool is you might get some low spots with that you're overhead a different area. I would more, even though we don't work on those reels at all, I would more tend to, to lap them a little bit. The thing that I feel that is is actually more critical is that you want the outside edge diameter thickness at the outside edge to be slightly thicker than it is towards the inside ah. because then that way there your outside diameter is working more and that's what gives you more drag if you have a high section in the center it's going to hit more in the middle and it's not going to get quite as much drag now as they wear in yes they're going to be hitting all the way across but people don't generally don't use their drags long enough to wear them in that far wow all right hope that helps you out thanks a lot for the phone call this morning i want to mention a very very sad loss to a great supporter listener of a let's talk hookup cliff friend cliff from lakewood yeah uh passed away this past week and after battling cancer for a long long time a gallant gallant uh, fight that he did yep. too and such a great guy cliff always had a smile on his face and loved to fish i mean he was fishing uh even while he was battling yeah no cancer doubt too and uh, always, always at every event, every, every event. everything that raised money for everything good in the fishing world, he was yep. a part of, and uh, and a really good guy, and he's going to be missed very much. Uh, you, and you said it best, Cliff never didn't have a smile on his face. He loved fishing, and he loved the community that came along with it. Yeah. He was always at everything and so supportive. And I mean, I, I remember being 13 years old, it, screening phone calls for Let's Talk Hookup, and Cliff from Lakewood was a regular then, yeah. and and up until the to his very last days. And I'm going to miss you a lot, buddy. He was yeah, a great guy. For sure. And, and, and you know, Cliff was everywhere it seemed uh -huh. like i mean i don't know <laughs> how the guy ways. got out but he was just literally he fished a lot he he went to all the community events he supported uh all the different programs uh friends of rollo cca everything everything and he always uh was there uh with a helping hand and and always a big supporter of our show and all of our events all our ford events and he'd drive from lakewood to wherever it yeah no be, doubt man be everywhere so gonna miss cliff for sure it's a cliff friend uh really a great friend of the community yep. for sure well said right. hey the phone lines are packed if you want to get your opportunity to get through that's 213-432-1090 i had a great text uh, this is from Roy in Spanish Fork, Utah. Uh, I got a question for Eric and Cal about the Fathom 2 speeds. I've been using the 40 narrow with 80 pound. Um, what really are the limitations and capabilities of this reel? Is it enough reel for nighttime jig freshing? Um, and will uh, will success outweigh heartache? Um, and uh, and if not, what do I need to do to get it there? Um, and that's from Roy in Spanish Fork, Utah. Fathom 40 should be able to do it. Depends on what size braid you have on it, and how well it's packed. But it's it has been doing very well for is if you get down too deep, where you start to run low on line. That's maybe its limiting factor is depending on what size line and whose line you use is the limiting factor. I like to, uh, me personally, I think 450 yards is like bare minimum for doing that because if you, you just don't know what size fish you're going to hook. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 450. That's bare minimum. I like six. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's well, a lot of, that's a lot of yards. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it, it, 
you know, there's stacking line and stuff like that, you know, that you can do to get more line on smaller reels. Yeah. Yeah, and I, w- I would just take it and go fish it, and if yeah. you need a little bit more drag, a little bit yeah. better free spool, yeah. then we're here for stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, there for sure. Go. There you go. That's why you sent it to Cal. Yeah. One of the listeners asked, <clears throat> how do we get a hold of you? How do we contact Cal's custom reels? You know, there's there are a couple different ways. I mean, uh, you know, earlier we talked uh uh, about using the website, it's cals2speed.com using the number two. Uh, our website, our phone number is 626 357 4441. And you know, just, just to hit, hit us up, and we can, yeah. you, we can yeah. just kind of advise from there. No Make pressure, no, I mean, it makes it really easy. We, we, we generally, I mean, we, we if they call the shop, they're gonna be able to talk to you guys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yes. yeah. It's, and oh, what's yeah. the number again? 626 357 Four 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 one, and um, we could talk to them. We ask them questions too. Again, where are you fishing? What's you know all that other kind of uh, pertinent information. So if you get wow. lucky, Nancy answers the phone. Right. <laughs> generally, that's the shop phone. <laughs> that's generally out with us. That would be <laughs> yeah. Well, let's but, jump into yeah. the phone. You got it, buddy. How about this time we talk to Cheer? Cheer's calling us from Cardiff this morning. Hi, Cheer. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hi, Cal. Pete, Rick, How do you cheer your reel's not course, done yet? Uh, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not done. You said it wouldn't be done till January. Hey, uh, but I, I do have a question because I was listening. I, when I was out there, you mentioned about the carbon fiber drags and how, you know, the issues that can happen with that. I have a Talica 12 that you guys have worked on, and it's just, it's my workhorse. I use that thing all the time for yellowtail for bluefin the last couple of years since you've you've worked on it i've probably caught 20 bluefin on that thing but it seems perfect when would i know to bring it in and just have a general maintenance done on it when it just starts just to it? feel a little off you'll you'll know you'll notice the difference uh it i know you take good care of your your gear and you wash it off you clean it good so you know i'm going to say anywhere from two to five years depending on how much you use it wow that they should should go but you'll kind of say you know it just doesn't have the feel that it did then that's time to bring it in and go through and you're not going to wear out the drags in that i as i said i think in in the all the time we've worked on talicas we had to replace one 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 you That's know, amazing. and we're when we're working on reels too. We get so we get some guys that says, you know what, it's peace of mind. I just want to work, get them done every single year. And sometimes we get in there and we're like, wow, this is just incredibly clean. It looks like we just did it. Mm-hmm. We'll tell a guy, you know, and you don't hear this much, but we'll tell a guy, you know what, you can probably go a little bit longer. It's it's sure. it's not quite ready, you know, that type of thing. And then we got the other spectrum where. Man, it's been 16 years since you serviced this, <laughs> yeah. and it's getting kind of rough. And you might want to come in a little bit more often. I so. only drove her to the get. I only drove her to the grocery store once a week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, thanks, Cheer. Nice to hear from you. Thanks for the call. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including checking in with the Catch Report. We're going to find out what's biting out there. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way in the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Rock Cod Rick here to tell you about Parker Boats and the guys at West Coast Marine. By now, you all know my boat partner and I bought a new 25 Parker Center console from crew at West Coast Marine in Costa Mesa. We've known for a long time that a Parker was the boat for us. It's a stout workhorse of a boat built to last and get you home when the seas get rough. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore tuna grounds. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all sizes, fish Fishing in the same areas as the sporties. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. West Coast Marine has several new Parkers in stock and ready for delivery. And they have more on the way. Don't get caught without a reliable boat when fishing is this good. Take it from me, if you're ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, and honest deal, you need to see West Coast Marine. Check out the inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com. If you get back to the lawn tramp and need extra power to run your electric tool or charge a battery, your San Diego County Ford dealer has the answer. The Ford F-150 truck now has available pro power on board to use your truck as a mobile generator. You will find this amazing feature on the Ford F-150 truck so useful in many different ways. What about powering a fridge or freezer to get your fish home? Visit your San Diego County Ford dealer to learn more. They'll be glad to hook you up. 
up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the vehicles of the future for everyone. Command the road with built Ford Tough trucks. Gear up and head out in a Ford SUV. Or check out Ford's adventurous new lineup like Bronco, Bronco Sport, and Maverick. Order your perfect truck or SUV built for you by you. Or get big cash back, low APR, and exclusive lease offers at your local Ford stores, where the future is for everyone. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero is very family-oriented. People have brought their children down, and now they're bringing their children. It's not unusual to have three generations of family at the hotel. Grandpa, dad, and uh, normally sons, sometimes daughters. The families come back year after year, and it's a safe place for the kids. It's small, it's intimate, right on the water, two miles of beachfront. The water's very shallow in front. There's no currents to speak of, no waves. We have child care, ten dollars a day for a babysitter. Security is high at Rancho Leonero. It's really unnecessary, but it adds up comfort level. And we really do encourage the families. It's a great place for family reunions, family get-togethers, weddings. We do it all. One eight hundred six four six two two five two six four six Baja. And RanchoLeonero.com. There's nowhere that I can think of to have the same atmosphere and the same experience that you get at Rancho Leonero. We love families. Long range fishing, nothing beats Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body when throwing jigs. The Shimano Trinidad is your top choice with the extreme cranking power and Shimano Super Free Spool provides extreme castability. You'll be able to put your jig in the Wahoo Zone. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. I can't wait to spend some quality time with my son fishing this year, teaching him about casting, how to choose bait, set the hook, and how to be safe on the water by always wearing a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. 